Two Muncie teenagers had time to kill and decided to do some window shopping at a local store. Yeah, how the teens were treated, though, at that store has gotten to the attention of the Muncie Human Rights Office. Fox 39 Chief Investigator Steve Brown has that story. We're not doing nothing. I just didn't think it would happen to us. You're taking pictures of stuff? It's different when it happens to you. J. Leon Jones and Mark L. Bond are talking about the chilly reception they got on a recent visit to this Rural King store in Muncie. Among the store's specialty are tools. The teens are interested in tools because they're in a high school construction training program building this house in nearby Yorktown. In the morning we go there for construction class. But on September 21st the two missed the bus and suddenly had time to kill. We ate first, we ate at McDonald's, and then next to McDonald's is Rural King, so we knew they had tools and stuff, clothes that we could use for the classes. I'm in the store almost every week because my dad always goes in. Because Joan's father, a plumber, buys supplies at Rural King. But almost immediately after entering the store, the teens were shadowed by this Rural King employee. You took pictures of us. Everywhere we went, the same lady was there. We went to every corner of the store. She has no reason to follow us, so why is she following us? You know what I'm saying? Why do you think she was following you? Probably because we were black. For an hour plus, they were followed, and finally the teens asked why. It's the only time. Is that your normal protocol? That afternoon, Bond's mother went to the store and was told, unlike other customers, the teens should have explained their visit to store management. I wish they would have went up front and let somebody know so that but we could have told everybody to stop. But they shouldn't have should. to, though. No, they shouldn't. shouldn't. For them to get treated this type of way is unacceptable. Yvonne Thompson is the executive director of Muncie's Human Rights Commission, who described the situation this way. You're the only I'm one talking to me. Failure of the store in training and policy. Rural King has got to realize Black people have money too. But they in okay. Families of the teens say Rural King's attorney disclosed three store employees have been fired. Rural King would not confirm that with us, instead offering a statement. It reads in part, Rural King has a clear policy prohibiting discrimination. Anyone engaging in such conduct would be subject to disciplinary action up to and including termination of employment. On being racially profiled, the teens wanted to share this. I don't feel like everybody's like that. Some people just have the wrong idea. Just the wrong idea about a group of people, like black people. In Muncie, Steve Brown, Fox 59 Investigates. All right, Steve, thank you so much. We'll have more on our website. Meantime, let's talk.